Redos actually has two help systems in it. Uh, one is called HTML help and the other is AMB help. And you may not have actually noticed when you installed Freedos that it just installed one of those. On my system, for example, I'm running AMB help. If I type help, it brings up the AMB help viewer. If I were to exit out of that and go into AMB help, uh, it's exactly the same program. Now, AMB help or AMB stands for Ancient Machine Book, and it's basically an ebook file format for low memory systems like DOS. A developer named Matheus Viste uh, developed AMB, and I, I have to say, I really like it. Uh, writing ebooks in AMB is really easy. So let's take a look at how to do it. So AMB is basically a container with a bunch of AMA source files packed together using an open source program called AMB Pack, which I've downloaded here. I'll include a link in the video description to Matheus's website where you can download AMB Pack. I'll also provide a link to an article about how to write eBooks in AMB so you can write, find more information there. Uh, now let's start by making a new directory for our AMA files. So I'm going to make a new directory here. We'll just call it hello, like we're doing a hello world type of eBook. So we'll do make dir hello. And we'll go into hello. Now, uh, AM, AMA are just plain text files with very minimal formatting instruction. Uh, each formatting instruction is a percent followed by uh, one letter. Now, we need to start editing an AMA file. So the, the first file has to be a file called index.ama. So we'll do edit index.ama. All right, so what are the different formatting instructions you can use in AMA? There's very few. Uh, by default, uh, percent %t will start plain text, but you don't actually need to include this unless you're, unless you're trying to turn off some other formatting because every line will start as plain text, just like you put percent %t at the start of the line. So that's the default. You don't actually need to use that. If we wanted to include heading text, so basically bold text, we would do percent %h, and this would be heading text. And let's just uh, put in, we'll put it in all caps, and we'll just say this is a heading. And to create a new paragraph, just enter in some blank lines. Uh, AMB, unlike other text formatting systems, you know, like LaTeX or something, uh, does not collect words and fill paragraphs. So you have to be careful to fill out the lines the way that you want them to uh, be shown on screen. So let's just add some text here. So we'll just say uh, this uh, is a uh, sample ebook written in AMB or ancient machine book format. And we'll start a new paragraph here and just say uh, AMA files are plain text files. Uh, that uh, use very simple uh, codes to add formatting. And uh, let's let's do an example here. So let's let's uh, let's not add more to this uh, document. Let's actually just link to another document that has the information that we want. So we'll do a percent %l. This will create a link to another document. And so we'll do a file called more.ama and then we'll do a colon and now after this will be the link text up to the end of the line so we'll do uh we'll just say uh, more information about ama files now if i was going to have other um text after this i would need to put in percent %t like if i just wanted the link to be more information and then have the about ama files be normal text i'd want to put a percent %t and then a space after that and that would uh, now make the link text only uh, more information and so that's what we're going to do uh, now uh, let's give an example of some other uh, formatting you can do. So we can do uh, percent %b and this will do so-called boring text like maybe copyrights or sides. Uh, and so here we'll just say uh, uh, this is an example uh, of uh, boring text. All right, so with that in our file, we can go ahead and save that. And let's now create that more.ama file. So we'll do a file new and this will be a more.ama so uh, again we'll start by putting in a header 
and we'll just call this one more information. I'm just going to capitalize it so it looks nice. More information. Uh, and so uh, uh, this is where you might put more information about how to use uh, AMB files, uh, such as uh, how to uh, format text. And so what we'll do here is percent percent will insert a literal percent character, right? Because all the formatting is done using percent and then some letters. So if I do percent percent, that'll actually insert a literal uh, percent character. And percent T is plain text. And then we'll do another one here to indicate that percent H is heading text. And then percent L would uh, link to another AMA file. And then we'll say a percent exclamation point uh, would be a warning uh, or important text. And then uh, percent uh, B, as we said before, is boring text uh, like copyright info. And uh, then percent percent uh, a literal percent character. And just to demonstrate what warning text looks like, uh, we'll do percent exclamation point. Uh, be careful when adding literal percent characters. So you uh, can count uh, the, uh, actually, let's, let's actually uh, stop the warning text there. And then the rest of this will be normal text. Uh, so you don't uh, miscount uh, the percent symbols. We'll do percent symbols. And so now that's our more.ama. So we'll do file and then save. And we'll call that more.ama. And now we can go ahead and exit. And so now we've created a directory called hello, and it's got an index.ama file in it and another file with more information called more.ama. The important thing is that we have a file called index.ama. Now, if I back up one directory, the AMB pack program is going to create an AMB file. And so the usage of that is AMB pack, and then we want to do C to create a new AMB file by packing the contents of a directory. That's why we made sure that we had a directory here. And then we're going to give it the name of an output file. So we're going to say AMB pack C, the hello directory, and we'll call it hello.amb. And so now it's created a uh, an archive uh, that I can now view using the AMB viewer. Now. If we wanted to put title text in there, we could, but that is an optional file, and I'll add that in a second, but just to show that we have a hello.amb file, and we can run amb to view that, hello.amb. And so there's our uh, document, shows this as a heading. Uh, we have a link down here. We can just do tab, and that'll bring us right to the first link, and there it is, more information about AMA files. You can see our boring text at the bottom has been grayed out. If I hit return on that, it brings me to the more information where we have our listing of how to uh, insert information on an AMB file using those different percent characters. And you'll note that uh, the extra spaces at the beginning of each line was preserved because AMB does not collect words and try to fill paragraphs. It just uses exactly what you give it. We were able to use a percent %t at the end of my warning text, so that way it only gave us the warning for the first part of that sentence and switched to regular text afterwards. All right, let's add a title file to this, and so we'll do escape to back up to the first file, and hit escape again to exit, and it's going to say, do you really want to exit? Yes. Hit escape again. Let's go into the hello directory, and we'll give it a title file. So we'll do an edit on title. And then this, we'll just call this one uh, how to uh, create AMB ebooks. Now, just going to be a single line that can be only up to, I think it's like 68 characters, if I recall correctly. It's in the uh, article that I'll link to. So let's go ahead and save that. And then we'll exit back to DOS.
and we'll back up one directory. Let's go ahead and get rid of our hello.amb so we can create a new one. amb pack c the hello directory hello.amb. And now it's created a new amb file called hello.amb. And this one now has the title file in it. So we'll do amb of hello.amb. And you can see that my title is now on the first line at the very top of the screen, but it's otherwise the same uh, AMB ebook that I created before. So what'd you think about that? Was it helpful to see how to create an AMB file? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, first, before I go, I have to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. And I know I say that all the time, but it really does matter a lot to me. Some of you sponsor me at a higher level, and I want to thank you here especially uh, for that. Visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Mastodon. Consider supporting me on Patreon. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.